Welcome back, guys. Starting to look quite nice, isn't it? But uh, I wanted to uh, I wanted to show you uh, and talk to you about this area. Now I'm going to have a little chat with you, and then we're going to go into um, a time lapse. But there's some stuff I want to show you first. Uh, and this episode is probably not going to be a very long episode because England are playing football tonight. Oh yeah. And I am, like, seriously, guys, I've been working, like, since since the 1st of June, I've been working, like, 16 hours a day, literally. 8 in the morning to 12 at night, um, 7 days a week. And I'm a little bit tired, and tonight I'm going to have a rest, and I'm going to watch the footy. Probably along with 90% of the men in the UK, well, in, in England. Uh, right, so, enough about the football. This area, right, looks really nice, but... It's, it's too even, like way, way, way too even, right? So the, there isn't enough variation in here. So what I want to do is I want to, I want to have a little play around with this. Let's pause it for a second. I want to go to policies. And now th we've, got the, uh, we've got the Victorian London theme in here, right? Which is all these really nice houses. But I want to mix it up again, uh, mix it up a bit. So I'm going to include... Um, these two, the uh, the residential uh, UK Terrace 1 and 2. So I'm going to turn those on as well. Actually, what like, what the hell? For the, oh, not all the buildings are loaded in that one. I think it's the same, is it? No. I'm going to turn on all of those. Right. And then we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a separate theme for, for Battersea. Uh, and we're going to have separate themes for different areas. So Battersea, right, so we're just adding adding those two in for Battersea. Okay, cool. What we're then going to do <laughs> is obviously knock some of this down so that we, uh, we get some of these new houses spawning. Uh, let's crank this up to three times so that this, uh, this happens fairly quick. And we'll take out all these nice buildings that we've put in and we'll let nice new ones spawn and we'll kind of see whether it looks better worse just different let's take out all these puppies and I want to do like a, a like a fairly sizable block so that we can kind of see the difference down here, down up here. All right, cool. That should give us, I think, a fairly good idea. So, what are we going to get? See now, this is a, a semi-detached. Let's get out of all those before I do some damage. And it should just give us a little bit more variety. We're still getting a lot of these terraced houses. These need to obviously upgrade to, um, to level 2. But this just introduces a little bit of variety. Just having a little bit of variation in here, I think, is going to make quite a lot of difference. We've got one of the other row houses in here. Now you can see they've got these little bay windows on them. And once these upgrade to the next level, they'll blend in a lot better with these type of, uh, of houses. And I think it's going to stop it looking so... Um, so uniform. Because like, this is way too uniform over here. But just a few of these different buildings, like this one and this one. But there's still going to be lots of these, these like these. Okay, you know, while that's doing that, we're going to take a little, a little jaunt down to. Uh, here is Roehampton Flower. Here's Richmond Park. This is, this is my street. This is where I live. And every time I say that, people go, Whoa, don't tell people where you live. They'll come and kill you. 
Yeah, I don't think they will. Right, this um, this street up here, this should all be um, nice detached houses. So let's have a look at the districts and see how we've got this set up. So we've got Richmond Park defined as that area. You know what? That might actually... Okay, Kingston Hill. Um, the, the problem with this is that first of all I need to extend this kind of down here if we're gonna have if this this is really gonna be Kingston Hill the thing is like on one side of the street they're like de detached houses on the other side they're different so I think I'm gonna have to go for like a blend of what the area is like as a whole rather than trying to do like individual streets so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna in incorporate this I need to do the golf courses at some point. That'll be kind of fun. Let's um, extend this down here, I guess. Like this. Okay. Right, so Kingston Hill. We're going to change the theme and we're going to make this... Let's see. Enable theme management. We want detached and semi-detached. We don't want these... Uh, oh, no. I do want the, those semi-detached don't want those and we want the detached we don't want the terraced I want the UK terrace pubs and shops and I don't want the London Victorian right cool Cha ching now it's going to be kind of interesting to see what this looks like because at the moment I mean look like like there are no houses like this in Kingston. Let me tell you it straight away. They just aren't. So, let's just take out all of those all the way along there. And down here. Although those actually were right. <laughs> but, hey, you know, you can't have everything. And let's do the same. In this block here. I'm hoping this is going to make like quite a difference. It'd be kind of nice if it did. Get the right style of houses in here. There needs to be like a reset. Like some. Uh, yeah, I know. Like as soon as I say it. I'm sure somebody's going to say there is. Uh, but at least there should be like a reset when you change the theme that it just like automatically repopulates the, the buildings. Although, like, if you did it on a citywide scale, it would be like potentially horrendous. Now, here we go. Now, this is so, so much better. Like, instantly, these houses are like way, way more in keeping with how Kingston is. They're not, they're not perfect, but, like, you know what, they're, like, these houses here, th these are very, very, very good. Very, very good. This, not so much. But these, definitely. I mean, actually, thinking about it, I, there's, there's a house that's quite like that, just down the street. So, yeah, you know, kind of... But look, these houses, oh, this is so much more like Kingston. Like, like this stuff, nah, absolutely not. Oh, I'm going to have to have, like, I'm going to have to have, a, a, like, a big demolition session. And get rid of all the stuff that shouldn't look like this. I think I would, did I do, ah, let's grab them again. Let's do those again. Uh, I did all the ways, all those down here. Need to do this area down here. Although that's not, th this area isn't included in what in that district, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Kingston Hill. It's included. I need to do. Uh, you know what? I should extend this out further to include this as well. Cool. All right. I am. I, I am definitely re-energized for getting London done and 
the ability to actually make this look a lot closer to how it really is kind of gets me excited for it again. There we go. Just instantly, instantly it looks so, so much better. I would like more variation, but it's close enough. It's close enough. See, look, you've got like, like four houses like identical right next to each other. And it's not like that. But we'll see. I'll see if I can get um, some more assets to, to provide a little bit more diversity. So, let's go back up to Battersea then. Now, I'm going to have to do the similar things like over in this area and, and whatever. Although, like, this area is not too bad. But, like, like this, this again... It could do with mixing up with the uh, with the other terrace themes. Let's go um, back up to Batsy and see. Now that this should have leveled up a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, see, you've just got. Uh, th see, this is leveled up. These these will turn into these, and I think once that happens, just having these few different buildings in, you know is just going to make the difference. Yeah, we're starting to level up now. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's definitely better. It's definitely better. I think we still need even more variation, but I'll keep working on it and see what we can do. Alright, oh, now, 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 uh, before I started doing this, I was playing around in the, in the asset, ed ed asset editor, because one of the things that I do need to address is, is getting stuff leveled up, and if you look, there's a lot of unhappy areas, like, this is leisure, and I, 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 the thing is, I don't want to put six million parks in just for the sake of leveling up happiness, so I have created this little asset over here. And, you know what, I'll, I'll put one in and you'll see. Now, I've got it running on times three speed, haven't I? Yeah, that's fine. Um, now, let's take let's take this area. Well, should I do back? Let's do the area close to Battersea. So, this asset is a one-by-one one park and I've boosted the stats on it. So, it will make an area very, very happy. If you look at like a, a regular park and you see that the radius... See that, that green circle, right? Now look at the radius on this one. Ho, 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 ho. So I, I'll have to put in a hell of a lot less parks to, um, to get, like, happiness up. Now this park, yeah, where can I put this in? Uh, I'm just looking for, like, okay, right here on this corner. That'll do. Right, boom. Look at, oh, look at the happiness it causes. Everything goes blue. Beautiful. Let's have a little look at it, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you kind of my, my thinking on this. What I've put in, it's, um, and I, I, unfortunately I haven't loaded up a, a first-person mod, so you can't see it that well. What I've done is loaded up, like, it's just a garden shed, fairly large garden shed, but a garden shed with uh, just a nice fence around it, and then a little stone wall on this side which kind of blends in with these stone walls uh, on these buildings. And I've added in some recycling bins, black, blue and green, which is, um, you know, fairly typical to London. These are wheelie bins. And I've also put a parking space in here so somebody can actually park a car in there. And, whoops. Was there a save going on? It's, it's, it's jumping about a bit. I have no idea where the hell I put that now. Where the hell did I put that? God only knows. Like, seriously, it could be freaking anywhere. The camera just jumped. Uh, I, it was definitely down in this area, wasn't it, that I put it? Oh, I don't know. I'd have to go to parks and see. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so... Yeah. Um... Oh look, there's a bloke. There's a bloke gone to his garden shed. Very cool. 
So yeah, that's just going to enable us to to really kind of get the place leveled up really, really, really easy without having to put millions of them. I have thought about putting more of these. Like the reason for creating this kind of one by one was. I wanted ideally to be able to kind of tuck it into areas like this. So see, if I put, if I was to put a road across the bottom, I could just put it like in there, and it would kind of look like the entrance to a, an alleyway behind the houses, which is again kind of common in uh, in these kind of uh, like terraced house blocks. Cool. All right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Right. What am I going to do for the rest of um, this episode? Now, I do want to get into the whole infrastructure. There's a there's a huge amount of infrastructure that we need to put in. Let's pause the game for a sec. Um, but I want to start getting the place look, like looking a bit better. So I think we're going to have a bit of a time lapse while I work on like this area around Barnes. Get this filled in. Putney. And maybe over towards Earthfield. I'm going to focus on the areas where we've already done the transport infrastructure. We've already done the tube, the trains in in this area down here. Like all the way out to like Surbiton and down to Epsom. This whole area, we've done the transport infrastructure. Um, we've still got a lot of work to do. Like like there's the, the, the trains coming out of Victoria. Where's Victoria? Over here. Uh, the train's coming out of Victoria going down here. We've still got to put in. There's um, all the tube network that we've got to put in in the north of London. I've got to do the, the, the Jubilee line. We've got like half of the Jubilee line. We've got to put the other half of the Jubilee line in. Um, so I thought, let's, uh, yeah, let's get some of this stuff filled in. Get some population going. That'll get the trains going in this area and fill them up and get loads loads of people moving which should look really good and then after we've done that then we can start thinking about the uh, the transport infrastructure so let me get on with it now i did say that i, I was wasn't going to say anything more about the football but apparently i am because i've just been like while i've been editing i've been uh, i've been catching a little bit of the uh, the wales slovakia game and uh, I've, I caught Gareth Bale's opening goal, an absolute corker from a free kick. So go Wales. Come on, boys. Represent for the UK. Uh, yeah, it's a good, good match. It's about, I don't know, it's about six or seven minutes left of the first half. And Wales are still leading 1-0. I hope by the time you guys are watching this, uh, this video... That Wales will have won their first match for like first time back in a European Championship for like 50 years, and like if they could win their first match, that would be freaking awesome. Um, they've got some good players, Ramsey and uh, and Bale particularly. Right, so what am I doing? Well, like to be honest, I'm just kind of filling things in. But you'll notice what I'm like what I'm doing with each of these areas is is like having a look at the map. And trying to pick out like key roads, because when you look at this, this is something I've, I've kind of noticed from the, from the satellite images. When you look at the satellite images, what you kind of to, to get a representation of an area, the thing to do is kind of look at like which ways the rows of houses are going. Um, so if you can pick out like a couple of key roads or whatever, and and then just and then just literally fill it in however you can with the right spacing. You do get kind of the right look. So, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now is, is trying to just get, get the... I pick a couple of roads, get the, get the alignment right, get a few rows of houses. I'm focusing on the spacing. Now, the spacing I'm trying to get for most of it is to have... Um, two squares like on either side with with some kind of like preferably a little gap in the middle so most of the time i'm aiming for like a, a five square gap between the uh, between the roads which sometimes is really easy like when you're doing these these open areas like this it's pretty easy but a bit later you'll see that like when i start to do some of the some of the areas that are already a little bit zoned in it's quite tricky to to pick out like places where you can put in the right spacing 
But I, I must admit, as I was doing this, I was actually pretty pleased with how it was going. And as you can see, I like, you know, like, just trying to look at the map and pick out, like, if there are little squares or, or stuff like that. And then trying to get the, 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 the houses, like, around parks and, uh, and commons so that the, the parks and commons are kind of, have a little bit of definition to them. Now, this is Putney Heath, and there's, like, a little housing estate, like, right in the centre of, uh, of Putney Heath. I'll just put that in. Now we're doing uh, this edge of barns. And this this is kind of a little bit weird, this area, because this area, is, it's, it doesn't have houses and stuff on it. It's a fairly open area, but there are a couple of things on it, and I really need to take a look at a satellite image uh, and, and see like what I can put in there. Uh, you know, like, I'll talk more about this, like, at the end, when we go back to the live action, because I, uh, I already recorded that bit, and I kind of talked about, like, trying to define those park areas. So I won't bang on about it now. Um, what You know what? What can I talk about? I, I really, really, really want to get back to uh, doing the railways, because... Like the railways and the tube, because it's it, it's so crucial, and I really really want to do King's Cross and St Pancras, and I've had a look in the in the workshop trying to find um, some assets that I can use for those stations. And I've got to say it's it's pretty slim pickings. The 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 stations that are in there aren't really a lot like. Uh, either King's Cross or St Pancras. I mean, I think St Pancras is this 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 kind of weird i mean it's a red brick building but it's very kind of ornate and stylized it's um i don't know it's kind of like almost like a i don't know would you say it was like a gothic kind of thing it's 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 a very weird building but it's a very cool building i really like um st pancras uh it's a it's a listed building it's one of the one of the one of the real landmarks in london uh, and then right next door to it, or almost right next door, you've got King's Cross Station, which is like the opposite. It's a very modern station. And even though there are quite a few modern stations in uh, in the workshop, none of them really look like King's Cross. I mean, King's Cross looks more like a, well, like a shopping mall than it does like a train station. Um, so, yeah, but I, I want to do those, and I, w I really want to start getting into North London. But North London is going to present me with some problems, because the thing is, like, up until now, I've been doing, like, kind of the southwest, and a little bit of the west, and a little bit of the south. But primarily, it's that, that south and west area which of, of London, which I know, like, pretty well. The city of London I know pretty well, and driving up to the city or driving over to Canary Wharf... Uh, I know those areas well. But once you get into North London, I really don't know North, North London that well. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. But we are coming now to the end of the time-lapse sequence. And we'll be going back to the, uh, to the live action. So uh, we're going to see the city grow. Enjoy this. Right, we'll stop there. My God, an hour goes by so fast. Unbelievable. Right, I don't know about you... I want to see this stuff zoning in. Don't, like, don't you? Like, there's so much stuff to go in, and I want to see what it looks like. It's going to be kind of fascinating. All right, let's because it's going to be a mixture of all those themes that I put in. Uh, let's do it. Let's, let's set it running. It's on three times. Which bit should we watch? Watch this bit over here, or... <laughs> All this over here, or... I don't know. Let's watch all this over here, I suppose. Here it comes! I'm going to be interested to see what kind of properties are zoning in. I, now, I do apologise, but th there's somebody doing some DIY next door. And it's... <laughs> you may hear a little bit of banging. It was one of the reasons why I'm like trying to get this done quickly. Yeah, there he goes. Put your shelves up another day, mate. Okay, so we've got... I'm, I'm trying to talk over the, 
try to talk over the noise. Uh, now, I'm, I'm actually, I'm kind of surprised that it's not complaining about water. I've obviously got water in here. Oh, that's, a, that's amazing. Alrighty, cool. Now, obviously, look, 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 look at these. Like, what the hell? Those, those have got to go. Those have definitely got to go. Let's get rid of these as well. Man, those are some horrible buildings, aren't they? But now they should come back as nice, uh, like terraced and semi-detached. and like, These are much better. Much, much better. How are we doing? How are we looking? Oh man, like, like this area is so much like just the color scheme is like so much better than like this stuff. I mean, forget like forget, forget the building styles. Just the color scheme is like so much more London. Oh, I can't wait till these buildings upgrade to level two. It's going to start looking very, very good. Now, obviously, I do have to do some work on these, like, park areas. Uh, there are some odd buildings that go in there and whatever. But, and I'm, you know, I'll probably end up kind of lining them with trees a bit more to, to kind of give them definition and try and put in some of the features that are in there. But generally speaking, very pleasing, very pleasing. So now, when we zoom out, Let's, let's go to free camps and get rid of all the icons and stuff. Right. Now we're starting to fill these areas in. That's a bit better, isn't it? That's much better. But of course, it does mean... like like Okay, so like down here we've got to fill this bit in because that looks a bit strange. Uh, but where we do have parks, like... Like this is... This is um, uh, what is it? Barnes Common? Like, where we've got Barnes Common or whatever, it needs to be properly defined. And this area over here, there's some stuff in it. That needs to be properly defined. And, like, I think there's, there's a park over... Oh, yeah, because this, this is the hospital here. And then there's this area here. But I'm betting that when I look at the satellite image... That that's going to have, I don't know, like some, uh, some, maybe some soccer fields or tennis courts or like something on it. Which will just define it more when we put those in. Well, there you go. Now it's starting to, now it's starting to really fill in. And there's a few buildings upgrading or whatever. Ma, oh, so much better. Some of these are remnant buildings like that. That, that wouldn't zone in now. And like these down here and with these red roofs and things. So we need to get rid of all of those. But guys, I think we're taking big strides forward in in being able to make this look like properly like London. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you like the way it's going. I, I think judging by the comments so far that the answer to that is going to be a yes. Should we have a last look at... Uh, Battersea now that it, it's it should have like yeah see it, all of these buildings have leveled up to level two now but just adding in some of these um, these semi-detached I think has definitely helped because you, you start to get some of these kind of white face buildings so it's not just a row of plain, plain brown buildings much much better yeah we need to we need to mix this up a little bit more even Alright guys, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you for the next one. Peace out.